It's called Pirates of the Caribbean, so you don't want to shoot it in Long Beach, you want to shoot it in the Caribbean. We had a location person that scouted all the way from uh, the Bahamas and Puerto Rico all the way to South America to find the right look of the film. It's amazing when you scout a film like this how quickly you realize that the world is, you know, insanely overpopulated. You just go out looking for a cul-de-sac shaped bay and to find one that doesn't have a hotel in it. They just don't exist. We picked St. Vincent because it didn't have much. You know, it had a few piers in the, in the water. We extended that one pier. We built a couple of other piers. And then we augmented a couple of existing buildings. And then we added to the town so we could make it look like our universal back lot. What do you need? It was a huge challenge. We had to call upon some of the neighboring islands to kind of help support the size of movie we had. The, the airport only handles small planes, so we uh, chartered a 747 and flew into St. Lucia and then brought everybody over by uh, boat. We brought about 400 people and um, we, I think, bought about every hotel room on the island. And then we've hired several hundred of uh, the local St. Vincent population to work on the crew as well. It's the lunch boat. Everything that they say about water movies is true. The, you know, everything that can go wrong will go wrong, you know? Just feeding the crew when you're, because as soon as you start shooting in the morning, you're four miles out. So suddenly you've got this kind of armada behind you trying to catch up, chasing you, you know, just with sandwiches. We brought 99% of everything with us. Yeah, because we did a lot of manufacturing on this job. And the thing about that's hard when you're doing a period piece like this is the availability of quantity. It's almost impossible. So what you typically have to do are research of certain items and then manufacture them. These two guys on this platform looking that way, you guys looking out to sea. Marineland is a closed up amusement park. We built a fort there. So once we scouted the, uh, St. Vincent, we found the direction of the sun, and we found a location that matched that so that when we built our fort, the, the sun path would be exactly the same. That fort is made of, of uh, cement and plaster skins. It's all, it's all a facade, it's all smoke and mirrors. The walls were all, were all framed up with, with plywood behind them and we put our skins on it. We knew that there was gonna be a lot of talent up on the deck, so we, I mean, those were all framed in, in lumber and, and heavy plywood. Then we lath, we'd do a metal lath and a concrete base over that. So we, we basically used uh, a stamping method, just like they stamp concrete for a driveway. Strike the muzzle flash! We couldn't go to shoot an existing location because the pirates rampage, set it on fire, swing on the chandeliers. Hello, Poppy. It's all built from scratch. We built the interior location at the uh, Raleigh Studios, Manhattan Beach. And then we built the exterior facade at uh, Marine Land. And then we built a miniature model to do a CG composite in the island at the location it is on the hillside. The cave set is one of the largest sets built on a stage in Hollywood. And it's a centerpiece in the movie because that's where the cursed treasure is essentially hidden. We were trying at that point to take a little bit of the Disney feel in the cave and the ride at Disneyland. So we came up with the concept that the Aztec gold is hidden in this volcanic cave in the, in the mountains. It took about uh, five months to build it, you know, with over a hundred craftsmen working on it. It was partly sculpted out of styrofoam and partly built with wood framed and plastered. We have basically a little over four feet of water, so it's a difficult set to shoot in. It's very tight. I, I take a lot of pride in, that, in the fact that, that that tank never leaked. You know, I have, a, I have an excellent crew and, and um, and that's what it's all about. I really feel on this film we had the cream of the crop of, of Hollywood because everybody just thought it would be really cool to work on.